Okay, now let me go on to some of the questions that people had. I was asked by a few people to comment on Pavel Durov arrest and on X being banned in Brazil. Let me first briefly comment on the uh, Durov arrest. So basic facts. Pavel Durov is CEO of Telegram, which is a messenger app that has end-to-end -end encryption mode. It's not on by default, and uh, most people don't use the end-to-end -end encryption, but some do. Pavel was arrested in France on a long list of charges related to quote unquote criminal activity carried out on the Telegram platform and for quote unquote providing unlicensed cryptology services. I think Telegram is indeed used for criminal activity by a small minority of its users. For example, by terrorist groups to communicate. And I think we all agree that terrorism is bad. But here's the problem. As the old saying goes, one man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. And there are many cases in which the world unilaterally agrees who the terrorists are. But there are other cases when uh, governments, especially authoritarian inclined governments, tend to propagandize and just call whoever's in the opposition, whoever opposes them, terrorists. There is some room for nuance here. But to me, at this time, it seems to obviously be a power grab by government wanting to have backdoor access into every platform so they can have censorship power against the opposition. I think generally government should stay out of censoring or even pressuring social media platforms. And I think arresting a CEO of a tech company for the things said on the platform he built is just nuts. It has a chilling effect on him, on people working at Telegram, and on people working at every social media company, and also people thinking of launching a new social media company. Same as the case of X being banned in Brazil. It's, I think, a power grab by Alexandre de Marais, a Supreme Court justice in Brazil. He ordered X to block certain accounts that are spreading quote unquote misinformation. Elon and X denied the request. Then de Marais threatened to arrest X representatives in Brazil. And in response to that, X pulled the representatives out of Brazil, obviously, to protect them. And now, X having no representatives in Brazil apparently violates the law. Based on this, de Marais banned X in Brazil. Once again, it's an authoritarian figure seeking censorship power over the channels of communication. I understand that this is complicated because there are evil people in the world. And part of the role of government is to protect us from those evil people. But as Benjamin Franklin said, those who can give up essential liberty to obtain a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. So it's a trade-off. But I think in many places in the world, many governments have leaned too far away at this time from liberty.